Good afternoon, everyone. Cold snap, record cold temperatures, minus 16 degrees Celsius across Hebei and Shanxi, northeastern China. Also far western China and Xinjiang, early snows blanketing the roads, causing traffic accidents. When you look at CCTV news feed about snow, it's just dozens and dozens of stories. Skyrocketing garlic prices due to heavy rains early in the year. Coal markets skyrocketing due to cold winter forecast. The polar vortex this year centered solidly over Asia. Japan during the last La Nina got over 914 inches of snow and it's already snowing early. Record snow in Japan, almost a foot, not expected for another month and a half. Kazakhstan, early snows collapsing trees with leaves still on them. And this video is brought to you by GetTheTea.com. Please remember to press that subscribe button. With extreme cold temperatures over Asia for the last month and a half, you can clearly see the polar vortex this year is centered over Asia. These temperatures have been below normal and continue to get cooler and cooler. In South China Morning Post, cold snap. Record cold temperatures across Hebei and Shanxi, minus 16 degrees Celsius. That's a cold snap. Change your headline. Put it into record cold temperatures. Area here circled in yellow, northeast China. Going far west, Xinjiang. Also early snows, heavier than usual. Having traffic snarls. It's that same heavy wet snow that we saw early last year as well. Jumping through the CCTV feed, it's just snowstorm after snowstorm after snowstorm after record cold after snowstorm. There's like 35 headlines. I didn't even copy them all. I left the link below so you can go explore it yourself. This follows right on the heels of record rains across China. So you can just imagine when that rain turns to snow this year, already having difficulty harvesting crops up in Heilongjiang area due to snow. Also, record garlic prices across China. That's from the wet conditions earlier. Runaway coal market prices increasing exponentially. They tried to streamline the coal industry, but this winter is forecast to be the coldest in four years, driving demand. Also, consumer price index and the producer price index also up, but the PPI up highest in 55 months. And this chart here, when the temperature drops, the Chinese dynasties collapsed. When you're trying to put higher food prices and higher energy prices on people's lives, oh, that's a recipe for disaster. Look at Knoll School here. The abnormally low temperatures, 30 below zero back in the last week of October. And what does this have in store for Japan? Snow brains. Talking about the last La Nina, Japan saw almost a thousand inches of snow. And with the coming La Nina again, they're expecting epic snowfall. So if you're a boarder or skier, get out to Japan this season. It's going to be all time. They're probably pushing a thousand inches of snow this year because already record-breaking snow in Japan, almost a foot down in Sapporo a month and a half before usual, breaking records back as far as they go into 1953. And several other cities in that same area breaking records. And a fact that I just learned myself, Japan gets more snow than anywhere on earth in the mountain areas, up to 1,500 inches. That's insane. That's 100 feet. A look at the La Nina cool map. And since the polar vortex is really pushing south this year in Asia, I'm going to call for snow in Taipei downtown. Kazakhstan, record snow snapping hundreds and hundreds of trees because they still had the leaves on them. That's how early this snow is in Kazakhstan this year. Look for you here on the map, Central Asia. And if we do take a look at the October snowfall anomalies in the Northern Hemisphere, you'll notice that dark blue in Asia is exactly where all of these events are happening. We just need to look back in time to another collapse of the Wei Dynasty in the 6th century. Japanese history matches up with that as well. Oh, get ready, we're in a cycle pattern. Epic snows this year across Asia this winter. And cold record's going to be snapped left, right, and center. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video.
Please remember to subscribe to Adapt2030 and take a moment to jump over to GetTheTea.com. They have a full range of supplements to keep your body healthy during the Grand Solar Minimum. As we saw during these dynasty collapses, malnutrition is one of the main reasons people had such a difficult time. This is a way to mitigate against those conditions 